my internet cut out. So this is an additional video to finish the last. I hope you tried it on your own. So let me make sure I think my internet cut before I could type in the time. So 37 to 1800 hours instead of 34 to nine. Beautiful. 37 minus 30 is seven and I'm yelling. I'm so sorry. 18 minus six is 12. So the temperature raises seven degrees every 12 hours. Is that the same as four degrees every three hours? I'm predicting no, but let's prove it because mathematicians like to be certain of their logic. I'm not certain yet. I think they will not be equivalent ratios. Equivalent rates. Let's try to see. Is it true that 3 over 4 Oops. Is 3 out 3 degrees temperature warming over 4 degrees temperature warming over 3 hours. Is that equal to Seven hours, seven degrees, changing over 12 hours. What do you think? Are they equivalent? Is the temperature change throughout the day constant? Does it stay the same like a tempo on a, some, most songs? Boom, 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 boom. They keep the same beat, 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 right? Is the temperature keeping the same beat or is it rising faster sometimes? And then is it, is it getting slower? Is it get, you know, what's happening? Is there a maximum temperature of the day? Highs and lows, right? We talk about that. So what do you think? Well, what would you do to three to make 12 using multiplication or division? Or what would you do to four using multiplication and division to get from four to seven? So you're going across the numerators. Is there a multiplicative relationship that I can tell pretty quickly between four and seven? This is kind of your brainstorm list. Let's, let's see. There's four things you can check with any equivalent fraction, equivalent ratio, or proportion, whether it's equivalent, you're trying to figure it out or not. So you want to ask yourself about four relationships. Is there a way to relate four, the numerators, four to seven? So is four times something... And then we can put in our nice, this, I really, we're going to eventually be using variables, which is an X and a Y. But until we get comfortable with that, let's use this like mystery box. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Let's see. Because it looks so much like X and we need to be evolving soon to be using the multiplication dot because of variables. Okay. Is there something that I can multiply by four to get seven? It's not obvious to me, okay? I don't, I know that if I double four, four times two, right? Four times two is eight. So that's close, so that helps me. I know that whatever I double on the left, it needs to be close to the value on the right. So four times two is seven. Four, I mean, four times two is eight and that's close to seven. Three times two is six and that's like not close to 12 at all in terms of like factors. You know, it's it's many factors away. Um, so what I mean by that is, okay, let's do this. Insert table. Because I said there's four things that you can test to try to help you see the pattern. We can go numerator to numerator. We can check the denominators. So we're basically repeating this again, except we need to change the numbers. So three times what? Used to give me 12. Well, I like this one. Why do I like this one? Because three times four is 12. That works for me. 
3 times 4 is 12. Hold up! Immediately I know these are not equivalent ratios, equivalent rates, equivalent fractions. Like we're using the numbers out of their context right now. We're pulled them out of reality, playing with them, and then we'll throw them back into reality. So the factor between the numerator and the denominator needs to be the same, and it's not because here you see it's 2 and here it's 4. They're not the same. But we're going to see that again when we go um, comparing the 6 o'clock related the individual ratios. So we're gonna we're gonna look from we looked across denominators. Now now we're gonna look down ratios. So ratio of thirty degrees to six hours, and we're also gonna look at the ratio of thirty seven degrees to eighteen hours, and relate them. So this is what we did sort of before. Um, pulling, wrapping it all back up. 30 to 6 is the same as 5 to 1. 37 to 18, we haven't done this one yet, but um, 36, okay, so is close to, what I can do is use my approximately equal to symbol. Almost the same as 36 to 18, right? And that's much more easy to reduce for me because 36 over 18 are both divisible by 9. So 36 divided by 9. Let me just show you everything in my brain. Might as well, right? So 36 over 9. It's the same as 36 divided by 9. over 9 divided by 9. 36 divided by 9 is 4. Nine divided by what? Nine is one. Okay, so these these are not the same. These two ratios going top down, right? So um, let me see if I can insert arrows up down, up arrow. There we go. These I always click stop sharing when I want to stop the character. That's my problem lately. Okay, so I'm going to insert a row above, merge these and label the, the right two strategies as up-down because that's us looking up and down at the individual ratios and making sure that the association between the ratio on the left is the same as the association to the ratio on the right. Or you can look across. Is the association between the not numerators the same as the association to the denominators? That is like your, totally your choice. If you want to think of these as proportions, obviously we can use ratio tables, we can use coordinate planes. We've seen that already with the tempo activity. Um, okay, so we have left to right and up to down. Cancel out of the characters, don't stop sharing. Cut that. Okay, so this is the factors across numerator to denominator need to be the same factor for the ratios or fractions or rates to be equivalent. And if you look up down, the values of each individual ratio, the unit rates of each individual ratio need to be the same. Okay, I hope this helped. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there today, but we will not let go of this and we will choose a due date for this assignment when everyone's ready. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.